In this video I'd like to show you the difference between lines on graphs that have a slope of zero and a slope of undefined. And I'd like to show you what that means. So students are often good at understanding whether a slope is positive or negative, but when they see slopes like the slopes of these two lines, they start to forget. Well, which one is the zero, which one is undefined, and what does it even mean for it to be undefined is a good question. Uh, one analogy is comparing these lines to like the slopes of land, like topography. And so I imagine walking along this blue line, it's flat land, so the blue line isn't going up or down, so this one has a slope of zero, and it's the red one that is undefined. But why is that? If we're calculating steepnesses of lines, if we're calculating steepnesses or slopes, we're really calculating rates of change. Rates of change between y values on the y-axis and x values on the x-axis. And the way we calculate these rates of change is by doing the change in the y values divided by the change in the x values. Or we're doing the change in the y values is your rise and the change in your x values is your run. So we're doing change in y divided by change in x or rise divided by run. So let's calculate the rise divided by run of each of these lines. Let's just pick a couple of points. Like, for example, if I pick, how about this point here and this point here. I can see that my rise, as I'm going, let's say, from this one to this one, my rise is going to be, I'm going up and down zero, and my run, I'm going two to the right. So rise over one with zero divided by two. How many twos does it take to get to zero? It takes zero twos. So when there's no rise, but there's run, side to side run, that's going to have a slope of zero. So when the rise is zero, the slope is zero. How about this one here? What's the slope going to be for this line? Again, let's pick two points on the line. How about this one there and this one there? And let's do the rise divided by the run. If I pick two points, first of all, is the line going up or is it going down? You can't say. But if I just start here, I can see I'm going, let's say I'm going up two. So my rise is going to be two. And then from here to here, how many am I going to the right or to the left? Well, I don't have to go either way, right or left. So I just have a run of zero. The rise is two, the run is zero, and what kind of slope is that going to be? That is the slope that is undefined. Anytime the run is zero, it's undefined. And the reason is, is because you can't divide by zero. Why can't you divide by zero? Well, if you have a different problem, a different division problem, like let's say 12 divided by 3, you're really asking, how many 3's does it take to get to 12? I know 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 12. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4 3's. 4 groups of 3 will get you to 12. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. If I do the same thing with this problem over here, 2 divided by 0, how many zeros is it going to take until I eventually get to 2? And the answer is never. You'll never get to 2 by adding a string of zeros together. You can't, so that's why you can't divide by 0. So the horizontal line has no rise, but it has a run, so the slope is 0. The vertical line has a rise, but there's no run. So the, you're dividing by zero, which is something that is not allowed, so that is going to be an undefined slope. If we do one more, what if you have a problem like this? What if it gives you the coordinates of a couple of points and asks you what the slope of the line is going to be? One thing I encourage my students to do is to try to visualize what they would look like on a graph. So if I I'm not actually going to draw them on here, but the point 5, 2 is 5 to the right up 2. And the point 5, negative 4 is 5 to the right down 4. So you're going to have two points there and there. It's going up and down, but there's no run. So it looks like your rise is going to be 6. Your run is 0. This one is going to be undefined. 
undefined. If you've got two points like that, that vertical line, undefined. How about on this one? Just visualize what these points are going to look like. Negative one, negative three is one to the left, down three. And two, negative three is two to the right, down three. So I'm going to have two points here that are side by side. Connect them with a line and it's going to be a horizontal line. Looks like that would be, oops, that one is going to be a rise of zero, if these two points are horizontal, and a run of three. And zero divided by three is just zero. So visualizing them on a graph, or even drawing them on an actual graph would work too, uh, but that's one way you can try to picture this. Look at the change in the y and the change in the x. Uh, and if the rise is zero, the slope is going to be zero. If the run is zero, you've got a vertical line, it's going to be undefined.